Welcome back to Pro Wrestling Talk guys and you're probably thinking CJ you're doing two videos in one week again Aren't you back? Uh, I don't know But today I want to talk about this whole Women's Royal Rumble Now I know I'm like super late to the party when I'm talking about this Like I know that that was just announced weeks ago And you know what we've had Christmas and stuff like that and New Year So I've not had time to really talk about it And I've really not wanted to really do a video till now about it So uh, obviously a couple weeks ago Stephanie McMahon came up to the ring and once again took TV time away from everybody else and as mother hen Stephanie McMahon she had to announce that there was a women's Royal Rumble now I'm nothing against women's Royal Rumble I'm glad that the women are getting a featured match at the Royal Rumble I'm glad that they're getting such a big match like this but for Stephanie McMahon to announce this <sighs> Excuse me one moment. <gasps> okay, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. I have to unleash my anger on Stephanie Man, the character, because she took more TV time away. I show you Stephanie McMahon position. Um, anyway, <laughs> back to more important things. So anyway, uh, the rules were kind of announced for this, and um, it looks like they're gonna do like the like they do with the males Royal Rumble, and they're gonna have, like a 30 women uh, Royal Rumble, and I'm thinking to myself. It's gonna hard to do. Like you're gonna have to fill a lot of spots, and that women's roster is kind of thin on both sides. Like you have your Raw and your SmackDown. When you look at them both together combined, um, they're both still thin. I mean, that's like what twenty, maybe twenty more, like twenty, nearly twenty-five people possibly. So they're not gonna fit like thirty people in that women's Raw Rumble match. So my own guess is that they're gonna have to fill up with some like filler returns, or they're gonna have to like call up like yeah, like Peyton Royce, Peyton Royce, and. Billy Kay and um, Nikki Cross and all those women from NXT basically um, to make to fill it up to 30 women because if they just say oh it's going to be 30 um, women in this Royal Rumble and then we only have like 20 women like where is the story logic like they just make up their own fucking rules like um, it's like well, I don't know this company just the state did it it's and it's like wow but anyway what do you guys think about this whole um, Women's Royal Rumble thing. I think it's good for the women. I'm glad that, that, that they're getting a featured match um, like this. Like they're getting a, an actual Women's Royal Rumble um, thing in that. Um, I don't know how it's going to play out, but I'm, I'm going to see. I'm going to be optimistic and see how it's going to play out. Um, I remember doing. I remember them doing this in WWE. Um, what's it? SmackDown Raw 2011. I think it was. Um, I think it was because. It was one of the women, they did like a women's road to WrestleMania and they had to go, uh, they had to do like a women's like battle royal. So um, it looks like they're kind of copying what uh, uh, THQ did a couple years ago. Um, so uh, yeah, what do, you guys, what do you guys think about this whole women's Royal rumble guys? Leave me your thoughts in the comments below guys and I will check you guys later. Peace.